Jort in Texas here. Thanks for joining. I'm doing a, a video today about uh, the Motec software. It's kind of intimidating uh, software once you start, uh, you, you open it and there's a lot of information, but there's some basic things you can do in order just to see uh, how you drive and where you can improve. So that's why I'm doing this video. So hopefully you'll get some tips out of this. So what I'm doing is that I'm capturing my data from uh, ACC and as I do a session, and then I compare it to uh, the reference file that you get for your setups if you get them from uh, Coach Dave. But you can use any type of, you can use your previous lap and compare to your, your best lap and just see where, where you can, uh, you know, where you have improved or where you can improve. But I, I use this uh, reference file, it's, it's really useful for me uh, to, to look at some, uh, someone that's significantly faster than yourself because that really points out uh, the differences. So let's let's open uh, the files here. So um, with the ACC setups from uh, Coach Dave, uh, I, I put all the Motec reference file in one place. So we're gonna pick Laguna Seca. And then I'm going into uh, the area where uh, Aseta Corsa uh, puts your, uh, your data as you completed the session. So we're going down here, this is Laguna Seca I did uh, a couple of days back using the McLaren GT3 uh, so picking that one so now we have two files so when we load this up we're gonna see uh, my data first so this is all the colored uh, data is, is mine so we have a couple of sections here we have the speed we have the RPMs we have the gears brake percentage uh, throttle percentage and the steering angle and the steering angle this is a left turn if it goes down below this line it's a right uh, turn of the wheel so let's uh, engage the data we we get as a reference um, so what we're doing here I'm selecting this is my my data 126.9 so that's pretty crappy lap and here's the reference 122.8 so uh, I put that uh, on on this uh, square here because that that's going to be the white line here so that's just kind of how it works all right so and you have a lot of other tabs we won't uh, worry about that uh, we only going to look at this tab here and then also the track report because here you actually see the the, the track and this is laguna seca we're going to focus on on this first turn here and see what's going on in in actually in this first couple of turns so uh, if you press f3 you're gonna get the variance, which is interesting. So for example here, turn three, the variance is one second. So <laughs> in the first couple of turns, I've lost one second and so on. So in total, I'm four seconds slower than the reference driver. So let's see what's going on here. So we see the speed. So again, the reference driver is the white line. So we can see here that I'm, I'm shifting. So if, if I click here, I get this yellow line so you can see this little line there so as I'm moving this you see I'm I'm now in fifth gear and he's still in fourth gear so you can see how how it shifts a little bit different uh, but the most interesting piece here is is to look at the braking so as we're in this part of the track here just uh, let's so I put the yellow line here and then I can go back to this track report so now I see where we are. So we're coming down the hill here, if you're familiar with um, Laguna Seca. We come down the hill and we're going into the first uh, left-hand turn here, uh, the, the hairpin. So that's where we are at, the, at this point. So what we can see here, I'm going on the brakes earlier. It goes uh, just a little bit later and we can see the distance here. Uh, so the, the difference between when he is on throne or on, on, on full braking, he's, he's braking, say maybe 50, 50 feet, 75 feet or something earlier than me, uh, or, or later than me, I'm sorry. And as we're coming into to the turn, I'm braking uh, kind of erratic here, if you will, I'm the purple line while he has a, a much more controlled braking application, braking, uh, or um, he's releasing the brake, I'm sorry, he's releasing the brake uh, a little bit later, but more controlled. And as you see, as he released the brake, 
he gets on the throttle here really quick. So I'm releasing the brake earlier, but I'm getting on the, my throttle application is, is kind of erratic again. I, I get on the throttle and back. So I need to uh, compensate here and, and not get on the throttle as quick as the reference driver. You see, you see the straight line. He just gets on the throttle like here, boom. And he's on full throttle. So he's just, so we can see where we are in, in the turn here. I'm putting the line there. We go back to the track report. So he's just here on the apex, just after the apex of the turn of the hairpin. And he's able to get on the throttle. So what this probably means is that I'm actually coming in too fast or I'm, I'm too... Uh, I'm, I'm not tight enough in the corner, so I'm not in a position where I can safely just get on, on the throttle real quick. So that's the common theme when I review my driving is the throttle application. Here is a prime example. Uh, this is turn four. You kind of just dab your brakes and, and, he's, and, then, and then you're coasting for a little bit here. And he gets on the throttle much earlier. Look at this. It's very evident there. Uh, it's not so evident here. Uh, you can see here I'm braking a little bit earlier, but he's braking a little bit. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's releasing the brakes a little bit later. So that's the whole thing with, you know, slow in, fast out. You can see here the throttle application again. Kind of mine is the red one, kind of waffling around a little bit. Same here. I'm getting on the brakes earlier. And then I'm releasing the brakes and up again while he has a much more controlled application of the braking here. So here's another good example on the throttle here. While I'm kind of coasting a bit to, 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 to try to control. And I think that is because I'm, I'm probably going in through uh, the turns a little bit too fast. Let's see where we are. Turn 9 here on Laguna. Uh, we are... Um, Going back to the track report. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, we're, we're after, this is the corkscrew. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm way back here, so I'm obviously way behind him. So I'm not getting on the throttle as, as quick as possible. So that's the main thing I get out of this. I can also see the steering angle. You see how, how sharp this goes up here? So I kind of have this kind of little hill here while he's kind of just much sharper in his uh, in his application of the steering. Um, and he's probably doing a little adjustment here because he, he needed to do that. And yeah, so again, brakes and throttle is what I look the most at. Also, I'm, I'm checking if I'm on the on, you know, what what gear, what's the uh, do you want to roll through on the second gear or first gear? in the different turns, that's what I'm looking for as well. So here, here for example, uh, so when you draw this line here, uh, you see uh, this is, it follows my line all, this, all the time. So here you can see, for example, as we're coming in to turn eight, he's actually rolling through there in second gear. So that's, uh, let's go th see where we are in there. Yeah, so that's the corkscrew. So he's actually rolling through the corkscrew on second gear. And I've, I've tried that and I feel very unstable. So you see, his, his action in the corkscrew is pretty impressive. So I'm, I'm breaking much earlier, he's breaking later. And well, I'm, uh, yeah, so, and, and then he has, and I, I'm releasing the brakes while he is actually on the brakes here. And he gets a much better uh, outcome of that because he can get on the, on the throttle uh, in much more straight application. So that's the key. When do you break? When do you get on the throttle? And I think what we can see here, his braking gives him the opportunity to get on the throttle in a, in a much quicker. So here certainly you see the difference here if you look uh, at, at this. So, so he's on the throttle uh, about 200 feet earlier than me in this uh, in turn four here which is pretty amazing so anyway i uh, really encourage you to get into this tool compare your 
your runs with uh, either a, a reference file of some form or, or just see how you do uh, over uh, the different sessions. Again, super helpful. Uh, I'm not looking at all these other, there's a lot of other things on the different tabs. Uh, there are videos out there that discuss that in, in detail, but this is just to encourage you to, to use this for just, just to get a basic view of your driving. So if you have any questions, just uh, post them. And I, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.